in the fifth phase, the perimenopause, which you've broken into the three phases, kind of early, mid, and then the later phase, which goes right into menopause, which I'm assuming is the sixth stage, is menopause or postmenopause. Okay. In in the fifth phase, so um, again, this is just general. It could start in your mid-30s. It could go into your mid-50s, but it's that period kind of late 30s through 40s to early 50s where you're leading up to um, menopause. Um, What's important to know about exercise and the amount of exercise? Because I'm under the impression, correct me if I'm wrong, that during this phase, we start losing bone and muscle mass. Is that true? It will begin, yes. And most women at this point either don't really notice it or have signs and symptoms that are hard to connect to, oh, this is, this is me in perimenopause. This is what this looks like because I mean, nobody knocks on the door and says, here I am. Right. And so you may, you may have the common signs. You have hot flashes or night sweats, you know, right. But if just all of a sudden you start not to be able to lose weight, doing the things that used to work, or you start to see a little bit more belly fat, and, and just changing of where you're storing fat that you hadn't seen before. Or maybe you have a sleepless night or two. That's unusual for you. You know, right up, right away, I don't think it dawns on every woman just with that one or two things. You know, it's just like you can look back and say, oh, do you know when that was happening? I bet that that was this. And um, so no woman is to blame. I think the more we talk about it, Women in their 30s will know a little bit more of what to expect. You know, and if I begin to see these different signs, even though they may not be the same one, but if I see them more frequently, closer together, they become more intense, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to what I want to do. So absolutely, one of the key things that we're hearing from science now is that key time, if you're not, to start exercising correctly strength training being the top on your priority list is in perimenopause and learning how to do it intensely. So I know we've talked a little bit about maybe not needing it to be so intense, but we do need a certain intensity. We just need not a lot of it. We just need this much. And then we need to rest between it and do it again this much, one or two times during a week. And we're good. We're gold. But we tend to do more, try to get more in. I'll feel better if I do that. And we we need to get this one right. 